tell me in Christ's name why you froze my account? You have chosen to be a prodigal daughter. So I have chosen to be a merciless father. A merciless father? At the expense of my happiness? Just because I chose love? Because I chose to be happy? Is that the reason, father? Is that? Well, if that is your reason, let me tell you, that will not deter me one bit. I am going to so stick to the man that I love. Then, my dear, you are on your own. <sighs> Jesus! I cannot believe this! Fine! No problem, father. No problem. Go on. You see all this? All these people? Bodyguards? I don't need none of them. Your money? Ha ha! None. I don't even want one penny. Not a cent. My fiance and I will be perfectly fine. Perfectly fine, father. None of them. None. Not even one person. I want none of it. Give me that. Cynthia. The car keys. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> what is it, my dear? What is wrong? Nothing, mother. I'm fine. No. I don't believe you. Tell me. I'm fine, mother. I mean, it's fine to be in pain. Isn't that what you and father want? That's why you vehemently refuse for me to marry the man I'm in love with. <sighs> mother. Even if father will say no, not you. You are a woman. Don't you have feelings? I do, but there's absolutely nothing I can do in this situation. Your father has the final say. Not on my life. He has the final say in this country. He has the final say on other issues. Not on my life, mother, not on my life. Listen, Cynthia, your father is not even the problem now. The boy's mother does not want you to marry her son. That's not true, mother. Whatever attitude she displayed, it was because of the way that regarded them in the first instance. Mother, Cherry and I are fine. We just want you to leave us alone so we can make our decisions on our own. That's all. You want my candid opinion? Let this be. Just let it be. Um, good afternoon, Ma. Good afternoon. I've actually been waiting here to see you. What for? I need to talk to you, Ma. Please. Open this door for me. How may I help you, young woman? I'm very sorry to intrude, Ma. But I need to know what is going on. I don't know what this sudden hatred is about between your family and mine. I honestly do love Jerry. I do from the bottom of my heart. Oh, will you shut up? If not that I am a gentle woman, I would have slapped you. I told your parents to tell you to stay far away from my son. I'm very sure they didn't pass the message to you. So young woman, you go home and let them give you my message. And don't you dare step your foot in this house again. That get lost from my sight. Move this car. <laughs> Listen, but on a more serious note, I know your daddy doesn't want me to marry you. 
ever since he became president, he's just been giving me the cold shoulder. Jerry, I want us to put my parents behind us and concentrate on our future, planning our wedding. That is going to be hard without their consent. We don't need their consent. We don't need their money. He's frozen my account. I trust you more than I trust myself. And I know that you and I can do it together. Except you don't trust me enough or love me enough to want to plan with me. I love you now more than ever. I mean, I know I'm going to step on some futures, but I don't care. I'm going ahead with the marriage. secluded is this hotel? Oh, very secluded. It's far from the town okay. and it's not easy to locate. That's exactly what I want. You know, I'm not supposed to be seen in the public until after my mission. What mission? Don't worry. I'll let you know very soon. Okay? Okay. Meanwhile, do you really miss me? <laughs> yes. I miss you more than ever you can imagine. Really? Yes. Approve it. Hmm. I miss you. <laughs> No, Morgan, I can't. Kate, you will. No, I won't. Kate, you will. You will have to go with me, Kate. Morgan, no. Look, I don't have such nerves to go into such dangerous acts with you. I can't. Life itself is dangerous, okay? As a matter of fact, your coming here to visit me is more dangerous than you can ever imagine. Don't you understand? If they get to you, they will definitely get to me. Don't you get it? Why do you want to get yourself involved in such a dangerous act? Why? Why? Because you may never understand. You've forgotten everything that you passed through because of me. You've forgotten what I went through. Oh. Maybe you don't even feel anything for me. Maybe you're not even concerned. No, I'm of course sorry. You're not. But I, I do. I do, okay? I do. You don't care. I lost everything. I lost every single thing that I own. My mother died right in your arms. She died right in your arms. Mm. 
to discharge me. Let me go. Let me go home. <laughs> you know you've spent all your money. I cannot continue to stay here. You're breaking my heart, Mom. I know I spent all the money. I sold virtually everything in the house. Mm -hmm. But you still have to stay in the hospital. Mama, if you go home, how are we going to get money to pay the nurse that will come and take care of you every day, Mom? Please, Mom, just stay. Please, I beg you. Mom, please, I beg you. I want you alive, please. You're the only hope that I have, please. Mom, please. Please don't do this, please, please. My daughter, I cannot continue to stay here. There is no money anywhere. Be gone. Mm. <laughs> It's a disappointment. <laughs> My daughter, hmm. please don't go to that evil chat for anything. Even if I will die, <laughs> Mom, you won't die. Nothing is going to happen to you. Okay? Please. I want to beg you for something. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. If Morgan comes out from prison. Don't abandon him. Promise me you will not abandon him. Help him. Help him as much as you can. Amen. And God will bless you. Amen. Tell Morgan that I love you. Amen. I will. Don't worry. He's going to come back. Mom, I'll tell you. Are you listening to me? Oh my god! 
Lorenzo. E io a questo. No! I lost everything I own. I'm now an ex-convict. I'm a wanted man in the society. I've lost my freedom. I've lost my honor and dignity. In a country where I was once honored and respected. If you think about this. Stop, stop, woman, stop. Okay, fine. Fine, I'll go with you. coldness of your lips. I feel the sting of a scorpion. What do you mean? Is this love for real? For once, your intuitions have failed you. Look deeper. I'm scared of this. So scared of this. Yeah, hello, son. Just go ahead and do what you have to do. Okay? I have my eyes and ears on the ground. Oh, oh no, 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 no. There's no way it will happen. Look, with what I did, there's no way they will find out anything. Besides, I'm not going to be there. And the whole thing is taking place in a local place. A little bit off town. Right? Yes. Okay. Just do what you have to do. I'll call you back later. All right. Be careful. Thank you. John. Yes, ma'am. Please take me back to the office. I have to pick something. Okay, ma'am. We are getting married next week. I know. This world is wicked. We'll do it. I won't let them get away with it. My heart is burning with fury, with revenge. So they will have to pay dearly for it. Right. You and Jerry should seriously think about what you're planning to do. It's a risk. Life itself is a risk. Besides, there's nothing to think about. Nothing. I think you should listen to your parents. You're not an ordinary person in this society. Whatever you do matters. It matters to my fiancé and myself alone. That means when certain people think that they can possibly frustrate your life due to some stupid political grudges they have, you show them that with or without them, you can exist. I still advise you think about this whole plan because... because blah, 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 blah. Honestly, you're beginning to piss me off. Are you going to be my chief bridesmaid or not? Go on, answer. Are you in this with me or not? Don't talk to me about risk. The trumpet is about to be blown.
I'd like to remind us once again that this is business. But as you all know, it is mixed with vengeance. If we succeed, we'll share it 50-50. But if we fail, we all perish. you that you have been detained against your wish I apologize for that and I promise I'm not gonna hold you any much longer than necessary if you will cooperate with me we'll do our business and we get out am I understood am I understood stay down right now I want every phone switched off do it immediately! I will not warn you again. Go ahead and do it! Okay. Every one of you, sit up. Back to your seats. Do it quietly! Be fast! I want all heads bowed and all eyes closed. Right now! Don't open your eyes until I say so. Am I understood? Guys, your positions. National Security. I believe I'm speaking with the National Security Advisor. I said I believe I'm speaking with the Director for National Security. Oh, he's not on seat. Hold on, hold on. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. You have a call. St. Teresa Catholic Church. From where? St. Teresa Catholic Church. Director for National Security, Musa Beri, who am I speaking with? I'd like to inform you that over a hundred citizens of this country, including the President's daughter and an ex-minister's son, are right here under my control as hostages in a church. Who is this? Listen, my identity is not important for now. But I'd like you to convey the message to the Presidency. I'll call in 45 minutes to state my demands, and I will advise that you do not go contrary to any of them, or else the lives of over a hundred citizens of this country, including that of the president's daughter, will be jeopardized. Don't forget, we do not care about our lives. We've got nothing to lose. I want to know who I am speaking to. 
Thank you. Man your positions. to inform me that your daughter and Honorable Mike Johnson's son have been held up in a church wedding by terrorists. What? Wedding? What wedding? Their wedding, Your Excellency. My daughter wedding? It's your daughter. Oh. Oh. I have always known that that girl will rub our noses in the mud. Now, who are the security details attached to them? Well, Your Excellency, the details are still very sketchy, but we understand that there has been sporadic gunshots here and there, but we're on top of the situation. Now find out for me who the security details are. I must know. Yes, Your Excellency. And you must go after them. Go after these people and get my daughter back. Yes, Your Excellency. Is that clear? Yes, Your Excellency. Go, go, go. Strike back. I need my life back. I got a game plan because vengeance is mine. So, what you see before your eyes is not exactly what you find. At times, you wonder why we're leaving because my kind is never kind. You must be thinking you're so wise And then you think I must be blind And so you worry in your disguise So I can't see your crimes I need my life back To make it alright It's time to pay up what you stole Because I'm getting really mad now how it feels like to be me that you cannot fight back. You deny me my right, must have me my life back. It's the struggle every day and night. All the pain's all turned up inside. It's a shame you cannot see that. You must reap what you sow, man. Strike back, strike back, I need my life back, my life back, I got a game plan, because vengeance is mine, I may be nothing but a fool, and you think I meant I do, you got the power and the money, so you use me like a tool. Evil that you do. I see them coming after you. You can hide all you want to. You cannot hide a truth. 